Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Sci Explorer, and let's begin to explore the world of science. If you will be able to gain some knowledge from this video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon below to keep in touch with new videos. As we all know, the SARS-CoV-2 virus has become one of the worst epidemic in the world and has already sacrificed a large number of lives. But have you ever thought how this SARS-CoV-2 virus infects our cells? Here in this video, I am going to explore the mechanism behind the SARS-CoV-2 viral infection. Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, scientists have been developing a detailed understanding of how SARS-CoV-2 infects cells. It starts with the spikes. Each SARS-CoV-2 virus particle has an outer surface that contains 20 to 40 haphazardly arranged spike proteins. Those spike proteins are the key to fusing with human cells. SARS-CoV-2 spikes are flexible and hinge at three points and that allows the spikes to flop around, sway and rotate. In such a way, these spike proteins scan the cell surface to find more binding sites. Researchers have previously confirmed during the early pandemic that receptors binding domain of SARS-CoV-2 spike protein attached to the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor which is a receptor that can be found outside of most human throat and lung cells and this receptor is also act as a docking point for SARS-CoV that causes the severe acute respiratory syndrome. But SARS-CoV-2 virus binds to the angiotensin converting enzyme receptor more strongly than SARS-CoV. The variants of the SARS-CoV-2 virus is the cause of mutations in the S1 subunit. S1 subunit contains the receptor binding domain which binds to the angiotensin converting enzyme receptor. An enzyme that found in high amounts on the outside of respiratory cells known as Tempress 2 cuts a site on the S1 subunit of spike proteins. This will result in exposing of a run of hydrophobic amino acids that rapidly buries itself in the closest membrane. Extended spikes then folded back onto itself allowing the viral and cell membranes to fuse. And this facilitates the ejecting of viral genome directly into the cell. After virus shoots its RNA genome into the cell, ribosomes in the cytoplasm translate two sections of viral RNA 
into long strings of amino acids which will eventually give rise to 16 proteins including many involved in rna synthesis later more rnas are generated that code for a total of 26 known viral proteins those proteins include structural proteins like spike proteins and other accessory proteins in this way virus begins to develop its own transcriptional machinery within the host to make many copies of its own messenger rna sars cov 2 virus take over the machinery of translating its mrna into proteins in many ways once the virus has taken over host translation it allows extensive remodeling of the interior and exterior of the cell to its needs initially newly made viral spike proteins travel to the cell surface to activate a host calcium ion channel which expels a fatty coating onto the outside of the cell at this point the infected cell fuses to neighboring cells expressing angiotensin converting enzyme 2 ultimately developing a massive individual respiratory cells that contain up to 20 nuclei these fused structures are called as syncytia some covid-19 infected cells even can form syncytia with lymphocytes avoiding the immune detection of those infected cells next step of the sars-cov-2 virus life cycle is that the releasing of newly made virus particles out of the cell this is happened through the golgi complex the virus forms a lipid envelope from the golgi complex membrane and newly formed virus particles then carried inside golgi vesicles to the cell surface where they spat out of the cell on the way out of the cell one more event makes this virus into an infectious juggernaut which is a quick snip at a site of five amino acids prepares the virus to strike its next target some facts that i have mentioned here is still under debate and scientists still searching for the understanding the behavior of sars-cov-2 virus it is not easy to keep pace with the quickly mutating virus so it is our responsibility to prevent from covid-19 infection so guys i am going to end the video for today i think you have gained some knowledge on sars-cov-2 viral infection if this video make any sense please like subscribe and share this video